Hi there, this is Linda and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In this video, I'm putting together a spread in my daughter's album documenting March 2020 using the Big Sky collection from Coco Daisy. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So I have made it to March 2020 in my daughter's album and of course we all know what happened in March of 2020. I was looking back through my photos and I actually had so many photos it was really really hard to get it all onto one 12 by 12 pocket page but I'm gonna do it. Um, I did end up having to cut out a lot of like nice photos and things but it is what it is. Um, I think I'm gonna use this one to put the title on potentially and then I also have this one. So we went for, so the beginning of March was normal. She had staff at school with friends. Um, you know, this is a photo of her and all of her friends. For, this was her freshman year of high school. So that was like her core group of friends. Um, she wasn't, I think it actually is this way. She is still friends with two of these girls. One of them she stopped talking to after freshman year, but the other one she was friends with all through high school. So it's, and it's nice to see them. I don't know who this kid is, so I'm guessing they were just friends in class, but this was um, her art class. So we have some normal stuff and then the pandemic hit. And so I have a photo of her doing school from home and pumpkin sitting there. And then she dyed her own hair. And then I had, her and I had gone to yoga class, a hot yoga class the day before everything shut down. So it was like the last normal day. So I have this photo from that. And so I'm going to document the pandemic there. And then I'm thinking I'll do one more pocket that is just like journaling of things that happened this month. So I started going through the cards in my last video and I pulled out or when I was doing my project life spread for using this and let's see I pulled out a couple of these so this one is a calendar of March 2024 and these both say March 2024 so I'm going to save those for my project life this one says March on it I'm thinking I'm going to cut that out and use it as a title similar to what I did for February I really like the approach of cutting it out um and this take a walk on the wild side could probably work really well with these hiking photos. We went for a lot of hikes once the pandemic hit. And let's see, I also need a background for here. And I really love that. But I think because I want to cut that out, I'm going to look and see what the papers are. So here's the pattern papers from the kit. So I've got like this horse one, a cow print, southwestern print, the denim. The denim would be pretty. But I also, I just love this pattern. Although it says 2021, 1998. Not entirely sure why there's years on here. But these are just like a bunch of brands and things. And it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with the story. It would just be the decoration. And then I would put some journaling here, I think, on a journaling card. I could use that one. Although today doesn't really work. I could frame it that way as you know, our last normal day. But then I'm gonna journal about how everything shut down and how she had to do school from home. I'm also thinking the blue might be good. I might, I think I'm gonna go with the denim. And then let's see, I need something here for some journaling. And I'm just looking for other things I can cut out. I think it would be super cute to like cut this hat out and put it on her, but that's not really the type of spread I'm going for here. Yeehaw. Um, just gonna look through all of the cards. This one would also be good for journaling here, but I really like that one as an option too. Oh, I love that card, but I don't need a pattern. This could be a good journaling card. I think I don't want, I want it not by the white. I use this one that's a possibility the best part I don't think that's the right answer because although I could if I didn't have that up here like this one wasn't gonna be my title card I could journal about all the extra time we spent together because of the pandemic 
but I don't want my journaling about the pandemic to say the best part on it. Um, let's see, both of these are fun. Like this one's fun for maybe to cut out. That one could be good for a base. So I'm gonna put that one there for journaling. Not Saint, nothing St. Patrick's Day related. That one's very cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one for my main journaling rather than that one. Although I really like this one too. Or the can't touch this, that's also good. The can't touch this though could be good for just like to cut out. Or Hello Spring. I think the Hello Spring, I'm gonna cut that one out. Probably. Okay, so I'm putting these ones aside. And then I'm trying to decide what I want my journaling to go on here. I, I have, I am committed to the blue though. So I'm gonna go with that first and cut this down. Let me just scoot everything over. I have some space here to make a four by six card. So this pattern papers that comes in the um, Modern Memory Keeper kit comes, it is six by, I think it's like eight and a quarter, eight and a half. I'm not entirely sure why they give you the extra half inch, um, but the six inches is perfect just if you want to crop down to do a four by six card, or you can use it to do a six by eight page, which I do that often as well. So I have that base there, and then I'm thinking what I want to do is cut the border off of this, like on that dotted line, and essentially use that as my journaling card to add text on here. I could also cut this one around the border and do today, but the today doesn't make a ton of sense because I'm gonna journal just about the pandemic. And I could frame it from today if I really want to use this one. I could say, you know, today we went to hot yoga. It was the last normal day before and then talk about the pandemic, but I think I wanna use this one instead. And then I'm gonna cut this one out for my title card. And then I wanted to cut one for to go on here. And I was thinking about both of these. I think that the Hello Spring one is probably going to be better for that one. And then let's see what else we have in here. So I have a lot of photos this time. So to keep the spread from looking too photo heavy, I need to put some embellishments on top of my photos. Now this photo is so busy, I can't really put anything on it. But I do have this one of her doing school from home. And honestly, I could crop this one down. And you know what? I'm thinking there was a patterned card that I really loved. Let me see if I can find it. Hmm. And I just saw it. I do like that one, but that wasn't the one I'm thinking of. Ah, this one. I like both sides though, but this one I really like. I'm thinking I can crop this down and put it on there. And that's just a good way to kind of break up the photos because when I had all of these photos in a row here, all in this clump, it looked busy. So this is gonna kind of break up the photos a bit. And then let's see, I do have to cut out those other things, but that's good for now. And then let's see what else we have. I have other embellishments. And I'm definitely gonna go through my stickers and things and add like a label on here. I think I don't have anything else specific that I know I want to use on this spread. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and start putting this one together. And once I get these things cut out and some of my journaling done, I'm gonna look through the rest of these things and see kind of what I want to include, look through all my stickers and everything and get the spread put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and finish up this spread. Okay, so I'm gonna start by working on this four by six card down in the left hand corner. And I am gonna rearrange these cards, but I will end up putting this one back in this corner eventually. But basically what I'm doing is creating like a mini scrapbook layout on this four by six card by itself. I printed that photo of me and my daughter out slightly smaller than three by four so that you can see part of that background. And then I cropped this three by four card down so that it would fit on top of the four by six card and still leave a little bit of that blue as a border. 
What I'm going to do is stamp on here using my favorite alpha stamp, the pandemic. And then I'm going to journal about how the pandemic started halfway through March of 2020. Of course, I have the hindsight that I know how long it lasted and I know everything, you know, that happened after this point, but I'm trying to journal it as if I didn't really know that and more just talking about where we were in March of 2020. And then I do end it by saying, you know, we thought this was going to be pretty short term. I decide that I don't want just these two things on this four by six card, but I want a little bit of embellishment on it as well. So what you're going to see me do pretty soon is go through the stickers and decide to use one of the stickers as a foundation. So the Coco Daisy kit for the cousin, so I think it's called the cousin sticker kit, is really great in Project Life as well because it has these rectangular stickers on it that are designed for the Hobonichi cousin. I believe they fit very perfectly on the weekly spreads, but they might work in other places as well. You're going to see I'm going through them now, but they have these um, six rectangles on two of the sheets. So you've got like 12 every month. And so it gives you a lot of flexibility. And what I end up doing is picking one of the ones here, you can see me doing it, that is a nice just pattern. And those are just perfect for layering in scrapbooking. I love having that little peak of the blue pop through there to have just kind of a base to hold some embellishments. And then I'm going to pull a few other stickers and layer them there and use some of the enamel dots. Actually this month, instead of enamel dots, they are like this metallic, they're metal dots. And I think that's so cute because it's such a fun way to use that common embellishment that always is in these kits, but make it fit the theme. I love that extra touch of using the metallic. And so I added a few of them there and I do end up using them again on this card to be bullet points. So I use the copper colored ones as bullet points to kind of make note of the other stories of the month. So I really only have these two spots for journaling. And of course, the pandemic was the biggest story of March of 2020, but it's not the only story. So I use this card and I'm looking over in my Project Life album from 2020 off screen to kind of come up with what stories happened for my daughter this month. So I talk about, you know, when she started doing virtual school, I talk about, you know, what we were doing as a family, both before and after the pandemic started and the fact that she dyed her hair red with semi-permanent red. She was super, super bored at home. Uh, she was at this point in time, I believe she was 14 or 15. I think she was 14. And, you know, being at home with your parents all day long when you are 14 is not ideal. Thankfully for her generation, you know, they had cell phones and they had the ability to communicate pretty regularly, but it's just not the same as hanging out with your friends and going to do things. Uh, for me, the pandemic wasn't as awful as for other people because I'm a homebody and I love to stay home by myself, but my daughter is an extrovert and this was really rough on her. So I'm really kind of trying to capture that for her and, you know, the ways that we com combated that boredom. So one of the things we did were we went on a lot of hikes. So you can see some of the photos I've selected are from various hikes that we went on. Um, we did a lot of hikes in March, so they didn't all make it on this page, but I might end up doing some other projects for her album that document some of those other ones. Of course, I don't need to capture every single thing that we ever did in her album. That's totally fine to miss a few of things because I just want to capture the highlights. I'm adhering this photo of her doing virtual school onto this background. Like I said in the beginning, I cropped it down so that I could have a little bit of that pattern peeking through. And I'm cutting out another one of these sticky notes that's from the journaling kit to create a journaling spot. I did that on my Project Life spread using this kit as well. And I love that opportunity to use these sticky notes in a different way because there are so many of them that come in the kit on that pad that cutting them up gives me just a lot more variety with using them. And I'm not too worried about it because I have so many. I added a little flower on there that was cut out of that card that says hello spring. Oh, I don't do that yet, but I'm going to end up adding. So if you see the hello spring card in the top right hand corner, I'm going to cut out those words hello spring, but I'm also going to cut out the flower and I'm going to add it onto that photo with her working from home for school. 
on this photo of her and her friend. I don't actually know who that friend is. It's just a photo she sent me from art class. So I just added a little label that says art class clay lemons because she made some lemons out of clay that I do actually have in my kitchen on the shelves now as decoration. And I like seeing their kind of origin story here. On this photo of her dyeing her hair, there was a label that said, now it's time to blank. And so I wrote stay home with the stamps, repeating the stamping that I did on one of the other cards and adding some more embellishments on there. So as I was saying earlier, she has she really struggled with the pandemic and staying home at this age and with her personality. So one of the things I let her do was dye her hair this semi-permanent red. So I had some photos capturing that and you can see it in some of the other photos. But because she did it on like March 18th or something like that, it really kind of helped to distinguish photos from pre the pandemic starting and after the pandemic started, which I thought was also kind of a neat take on, you know, just documenting this uh, experience. I cropped the word March. I like fuzzy cut the word March out of that four by six card to create a title and add it onto this four by six photo. Like I said in the beginning, I had so many photos this month that I didn't wanna devote an entire four by six pocket to a filler card. So cutting up the title worked really well to still get that word in here and use another photo. I am I decided to put it horizontal on the photo because it fit perfectly and also just the way the photo was framed. I didn't want it to go across our bodies or be super close to our heads, but there was a lot of extra space on this side. I used one of the washi strips to kind of ground it. So I placed that washi strip on there first and then adhered the letters on top and that just kind of helps it look more intentional on the photo. I then added a small label sticker so I could write in the words 2020, even though I know this in her album based on where this is located, that this is March 2020 and based on what happened, uh, I still like to add the date on all of my spreads. Here I am cutting out that, that card that said hello spring and adding it on there. I do add another washi strip and I'm going to add another sticker on here as well because I didn't end up getting that super centered. And I could have gone from the center and kind of lined it up first, but I like this, how this worked to add that little sun sticker on the end. This kit was very Southwest theme, but as you can tell, this spread is not Southwest theme at all. I live in New York, in upstate New York, so it's very much not the Southwest. I live in the Northeast, so the exact opposite. Um, but this kit worked really well to document this month in our lives for my daughter's album, and I'm super thrilled with how this one came out. I just shifted the cards around a little bit, again, to kind of balance the photos and the colors and the journaling cards and have a little bit more white space, not have all the journaling touching. And I'm just trimming things down so they'll fit in the pockets. And then I'm going to call this one good. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.